Hi you guys, my name is William and welcome back to my channel, Simply The Culinarian. And today, we're going to be making a blueberry tart. So, first thing we're going to do is we're going to make some pastry cream. Because this pastry cream literally has to sit in the fridge and it has to chill and set for two hours. So, let's get started. First thing we're going to do, we're going to take half a cup of sugar. We're going to take a quarter cup of cornstarch. Want to get all that thick and power? You gonna mix this up? Next thing we're gonna do is gonna take two cups of milk, and we're gonna take four egg yolks. I'm just going to kind of mix those up. All right. And you're just going to add your milk base to your sugar and cornstarch. And you're going to turn it on. And you're going to start to cook this until it becomes very thick, like a pudding. I'm going to switch to a switch to a whisk because you don't want any lumps. Now, during this process, it's very crucial because if you don't watch it, in an instant, you can burn this um, custard if you're not constantly stirring. If you can see now, it's starting to get really, really, really thick. You want to make sure you keep moving. See, it's starting to bubble and get really thick. You want to make sure you keep this moving. Alright, after we take this off the heat, while it's still hot, we're just going to add a pinch of salt, a little bit of vanilla extract. We're going to fold two tablespoons of melted butter. We're just going to whisk that down in it. The next final thing you're going to want to do is pass this through a fine mesh strainer because believe it or not there's some cooked egg pieces in here and you don't want any of that so I'm just going to want to gently pass this through the strainer See, you can see the little white pieces of the cooked yolk. It passed like that. Lay this out. And so the last thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to get you a piece of plastic wrap. And you're going to want to put this on top of your pastry cream. But you're going to want to touch the top. And the reason we do that is because we don't want a crust to form on top of this hot pastry cream. And I promise you it's not going to stick bad when you peel it off. It's going to peel off transparent or fairly, fairly clean. Alright. You're going to want to chill this in your fridge for at least two hours. Alright. Alright. So while your pastry cream is setting up in the fridge you can go ahead and work on your crust i'm going to use a tart pan that has a removable base this is more of a tart quiche 
Um, traditional tart pans are a little bit shorter in height, but if you have a quiche pan, this will work just fine. They're the same. They just have a difference in height. So, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to spray this really well because I don't want that tart to stick. No. You can make your own pastry crust, but for a quick and simple way, we're just going to use a ready-made pie crust. I'm just going to drop it in the bottom. And we're just going to work it. And don't be afraid to let it look as rustic as possible. But the more rustic, the more your friends will actually think you did a pie crust on your own. <laughs> now, I'm going to brush this with a little bit of egg wash with a little bit of cinnamon for a little bit of added flavor. All pastries are good with cinnamon, right? And so, what I'm going to do from here is we're going to blind bake this. And usually if you have some old beans, you can put them in the bottom. But I'm just going to use a little bit of a little ramekin to weight it down so it doesn't pop up. And you're going to bake this in the oven until it's nice and golden brown and done. Alright, so as you can see, our pie crust is nice and golden. Our pastry cream is set and chilled. I told you that plastic was just going to peel right off. What we're going to do is we're just going to give this a little stir to smooth it out. This is literally like a vanilla pudding. I'm just going to add this pastry cream. Y'all have to be skimpy with it. You can also add a little lemon to your pastry cream if you want to give it some brightness. A little fresh lemon zest. A little, a little shot of lemon juice. All right. So. What I have here is some fresh blueberries and some blueberry glaze. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to add my fresh blueberries to that blueberry glaze. That blueberry glaze I just picked up in the grocery store. It was actually on sale for 99 cents. I'm just going to mix my blueberries up in that glaze. Take your spoon and start piling that right on. Like I said, this was very quick and simple. 
something you can do literally with effortless cement leaves. Let's see if we have some good ones out here. Your little mint leaf. It's kind of gross. So, all right. So, we're gonna release this. I'm just gonna sit something small underneath it. And there you have it. You have a nice blueberry tart. Please remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I will see you guys next time.